Hi everyone, I said I was going to do a uh, another video of my collection that I've got sitting downstairs at the moment. Um, this is about as many as my fiancé will let me keep down here. So first of all, it's the Enterbay HD03, I think it was. Uh, it could be 04. And it's the Terminator T800 from T2, and this is one of my favourite figures of all time. With the fantastic, authentic leather outfit. The sculpt isn't great without the glasses on, but with the glasses on it looks pretty good. Um, all my displays down here have got mirrored back, so I'm trying to keep myself out of the, ca out of the camera because I'm pretty fat, pretty old. Well, I'm pretty old, I'm 29, but I look old because I'm going bald. So the less you see of me, the better. Uh, going down to my Bruce Lee's. That was the very first Enter Bay court scale that I got, the Enter the Dragon one. And then I've got Way of the Dragon there. It's an awesome figure. Even with the joints, to be honest, once you've had a figure for a while, you don't even take notice of the joints anymore. But this one's just a statue, it doesn't move. But the lightness on these is great. That one was Arnie Kim again. Um, I think Skadira did the sculpt for that one. I could be wrong, but he's the main sculptor at, at Enter Bay. And then got my T800 Battle Damage version. This is an incredible figure. The lightness is absolutely amazing on this thing. As you can see, detail and the weathering and the clothes is exceptional. I need a vacation. And then over this side, we have the Enter Bay Robocop, which looks nice on the shelf. I know not many people like the jetpack from Robocop 3, um, and I'm not a fan of that film, but I think something about this jetpack just really sets the figure off. And it's a great looking figure, even if it does feel cheap and, and quite lightweight. It look, looks good on the shelf, so that's what matters, really. And then down the bottom... We've got Hot Toys Quarter Scale Endoskeleton. Very nice detailed figure. Let's get a bit closer. Having these mirrored backs is a right pain in the arse, to be honest, on these cabinets. So the eyes light up on that one. I might do some more detailed videos of all of these at some stage. And then again, the Enter Bay. T1000. Another fantastic likeness. And then finally, the Blitzway Legendary Scale, not Legendary Scale, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the quarter scale of Game of Death. And this has got the most amazing Bruce Lee head sculpt. I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up. It's behind a glass cabinet as well. It's glass uh, display, sorry. It's absolutely huge. People that pre-ordered could have their name written on the back of this little... Uh, this little plaque, but I didn't pre-order mine. And to be honest, if I I do end up selling quite a few of my figures, and I think if you're going to try and sell this, then if you have your name on it, it's not going to obviously fetch as much unless someone called Paul buys it. So definitely one of my favourite statues that I've got. Oh, and as they're awake, I might as well show you my dogs as well. Or one of my dogs. That's my new puppy, Frank, who's 11 weeks old, a Boston Terrier. And he's an awesome dog. My other dog's just run upstairs because he's camera shy. Anyway, nothing to do with my collection, but, um... Oh, there he is. He's on the floor. It's a bit warm today, so he's just sort of chilling. Right there, Loki. So, yeah, Loki and Frank.
my two dogs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, probably should have taken the laptop charger off the, the case there, but... Oh, and there's my canvas print of the Joker as well. Thought I might as well get that in there. I will be getting a figure this week from Anthony Sang, who uh, most of you will know, lives in Hong Kong, and he's a fantastic guy. Um, I didn't even, I, I knew of him, but I'd never spoken to him, and I asked him about the Mark 42 diecast Iron Man on Hot Toys. I was asking about prices and stuff, and how much they are out there, and, and things, and he just came back to me, private messaged me, and gave me a price of what he could send one for, and I was just like, well, that's that's brilliant, I'll, I'll take one. So yeah, fantastic guy. Uh, I'll probably do a video when that arrives. I might even make it my first review. So again, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sorry the videos are, you know, they're not the same as some of the other video makers on YouTube. But um, you've got to start somewhere. So again, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.